Good morning. It is Friday, May 24th of 2024, and welcome to Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be a great three days of celebration for this nation. Remember to remember to think of those who have died for our freedom. This is a very special time, and I'm honored to be born on uh, the 26th of May, so I'll be celebrating Memorial and my birthday, and I just, I find it a very special time of year. So I hope you embrace it and recognize how important it is that we honor this holiday as a nation in America. So let's continue on with the things we've been talking about this week. I started my broadcast when I returned from vacation about where is your soul anchored? And it's so um, important to continue to talk about this because we need to know where we are anchored. We need to know that we are rooted and grounded in the word of God and we're taking time to honor God and his word and spend time individually with him, listening to what he has to say and having him correct us, direct us, protect us in our walk in life and perfect our life. He wants us to be developing our talents. We talked about that yesterday. And today he said, I want to people to talk about doing a checkup from the neck up. He wants us to be taking this weekend and the days in the future to find out if we are really being faithful over little things so we are prepared to be rulers over much. And this, the scripture he gave me this morning is out of Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15, where Solomon is talking to the Shunammite woman, and he says, Take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. Now, when you're thinking about where your soul is anchored, you're developing a relationship with the Lord and you're trying and you're learning about the word of God and you're cutting things out of your life that you know are not productive for yourself. You're starting to develop your talents, your gifts, your callings that are specifically, uniquely created by God for your life. And that's really exciting. But if there are any things that are really distracting us and pulling us away from the gifts and the callings of God, they're like little foxes that come in through the vineyard and they start eating the tender young little grapes before they have even become ready for maturity for harvest. And those are the things that God wants us to take the time this weekend and in the coming weeks to do a full checkup from the neck up. How are we using our time? Are we pursuing habits? Do we have habits in our life that we know are not beneficial, but we are willing to continue to overlook them or excuse them? We can't have excuses in our life. If we're gonna run the course of grace that's set before us, we have to lay aside every sin and encumbrance and excuse and get aligned with what God has called us to do. Then we will see success in our life. In Psalm 90, verse 8, David is uh, talking about the Lord. and He says, you, Lord, spread out our sins before you, our secret sins, and you see them all. You know, there's nothing hidden from God. Everything that is hidden in the darkness is revealed in the light, and you will see that throughout Scripture. Everything hidden in the darkness will be revealed in the light. And we see that going on in our natural world right now. Things that have been hidden from us by our government, etc., for many years are starting to come to light. So the same is true with our lives. So I'm asking you over these next three days, ask yourself what choices have you made that have long-term negative impacts on your life that you want to eliminate? And take them to the Lord and Ask him to show you what you need to course correct, but get them released from your life because all they will do is anchor you to something that you do not want to be anchored to. You want to be anchored to the word and the way that life is defined here in this book. You do not want to be anchored to the world's deception. Are you continuing to engage in any assignment that is not productive? and does nothing but drain your time. You know, time is the one thing we all have in equal measure, and you cannot bank it, and you cannot get it back. So I am encouraging you, as I used to say as an executive to, executive to my teams, 
in hospital systems. I would say do not confuse activity and busyness with productivity. It will not produce activity that is not productive and producing results will bring no value in life. So I am encouraging you to think about these things. Look up Psalm 2 verse 15. Look up Psalm 90 verse 8 and start asking the Lord, where is my soul anchored? Is it anchored in you? Am I developing my talents? And let's do a checkup from the neck up and let's get rid of the things that are wasting our time and clear out the little foxes so the things that you are developing will come to full maturity and you will enjoy the harvest and share that harvest with the people that you are supposed to affect in life. Go have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye-bye.